Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot, and here is a demo of my really awesome Minecraft gesture controller. Um, honestly, I think this is one of my favorite projects I've ever made. It's super fun. Let's check it out. Oh, attack everything! So you can walk around by moving your arms up and down. You can turn and look. And then if you go faster, you can jump! Ah! Come on, come on, maybe. So let's see if I can go attack a tree. Ha! Ah! Huzzah! <laughs> so that's because I'm holding uh, my thumb and forefinger together. Oh, I think I'm missing it actually. So let's try this a little closer. Um, let's wait a second. Oh, okay, it's coming down maybe. Oh boy, I thought this sword would be better than this. Hmm. Maybe there's something about creative mode that I don't get. Huh. Well, you can attack things, but it doesn't do anything apparently. Um, oh no, I fell into a mine! Let's get out! Oh goodness! Woo, here we go! So I'm really stoked about the turning thing, because that was actually really hard. Um, so now that I've convinced you that it's cool, um, basically the way that this works is it uses a Circuit uh, Playground Express from Adafruit Industries. Um, they were generous enough to donate some to me so that I can teach folks how to build these uh, super cool projects. Um, I'll give you a little bit better view before I start talking at you though. Come on, turn around please. Let's go this way. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, so close. <laughs> no, wait, wait, turn another way, turn another way. Oh, I really wish it was the attack thing was working. I might have to change. Maybe, oh, you know what? Because a sword probably isn't good. Well, whatever, I'll do that later. Um, so you can't do everything with the glove, especially because, um, so you're using capacitive touch sensing, um, which is, as you can see, super sensitive. So even if I like touch my finger and hit the conductive thread that's on the glove, so the conductive thread goes from the, the Circuit Playground Express to these conductive um, pads. Ha! See? Yep. It's super sensitive. Um, but, uh, so theoretically you could have different controls or you could add different buttons and stuff. Um, but I noticed that it was getting triggered when I didn't want it to, so I reduced some of the controls on the glove. Like I was supposed to be able to go to my inventory, but then it would just like go to my inventory all the time and I couldn't actually play the game. Um, annoying. Um, so oh, I wish I wasn't stuck in this little pit. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on, you can, go, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, oh, so close. Um, okay, well, whatever. So, um, it's not easy to play the game, but I think it makes it more re rewarding because you actually have to put in some effort. I'm getting a little warm, actually, like moving my arms back and forth. Um, I guess we can always go explore the pit. Um, haha, there we go. So, so yeah, <laughs> you walk forward by moving your hands up and down. Um, you attack by pressing your thumb and forefinger together. It gets triggered sometimes when you don't want it to. Escape is this finger. Although, yeah, it's a little finicky. Um, and then theoretically, you should be able to walk backwards. Oh, look at that! You're walking backwards! By pressing this and then doing the same motions. Um, so the only thing that you might have noticed that is a little tricky is looking up and down. Um, so basically what is happening is this is overriding your keyboard and mouse and I'm using the accelerometer on here which measures changes in acceleration um, or sorry I guess acceleration which is changes in speed um, and then it translates that into motion in the game and the cool thing is that my code is open source so if you want to go and build this project and you're not super familiar with coding, you can just download the program that I wrote, load it onto here, and it will do just this. And then what's awesome is that I've commented 
the program really heavily so that when you go through it, you can see all the different pieces and what they're doing. Um, and then you can change them or modify or, um, you know, remove them or add different pieces so that you can create your own custom gesture game controller. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just going to play the game for a little bit um, now that uh, I've convinced you that it's cool. So check out the tutorial um, for the full build instructions. It's a little bit long, but it really goes through the design, how I figured it out. Um, and it's a fun read, so I encourage you to check it out, and it's an even more fun build, so try your hand at it. Um, the world is more fun when you build things, so this is kind of like Minecraft in real life, I guess, that allows you to play Minecraft on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so um, please let me know if you have any questions um, about the project or about uh, what I do in general. And thank you very much for watching, and go forth and build all the things! Yay! Alright, I'm gonna go explore this and then I'll end the video. Oh, come on. Let's go this way. Yeah. Oh, come on. So close. Come on. Oh, I can almost get out. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's really hard to hit just that one spot. Oh, here I can. I can go here. Oh, am I free? Oh, I'm free! Huzzah! Let's go into the forest. Except not in the pit again. <laughs> I like those flowers. Can I use the sword to chop at the flowers? Boy, sword, you are not super great for this. I wonder... Let's pick... Hmm... Let's do that. Oops. Oh no, let's do that. Yeah. Ah! Ha ho! What's up? All the things, except I don't want to go down all the forest because I like the forest. Oh, new recipe! What's up? Oh, it's getting dark. No, goodbye, sun.
when in doubt, just chop it down, I guess. Uh oh, monsters! Oh, top of the mountain! What's up? Ah! Oh, sorry, Peg. I don't want to kill you. You're cute. Oh, but what the heck is that? I think that's a spider. Nope, go the other way. Oh, it's a jackal! Wait, no, it's not a jackal lantern. Wait, go back, go back, go back. Ah! Oh, goodness! Oh, goodness! Are you terrorizing the animals? Oh, there's a zombie. Let's see if I can kill the zombie. Not the llama, though. Excuse me! Excuse me! Ah, oh, I don't like when they make those sounds! Attack! 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 Yeah, take that! Take that! Attack! No, no, go back! Attack! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! So maybe it's a little hard to kill monsters with this. <laughs> yeah! Take that, spider! You scary! Oops, not the llama. Attack you. Wait, go back, go back. Eh. Oh, this is hard. Oh, doesn't wanna doesn't wanna turn that way, I guess. Monster, where are you at? I can hear you. <laughs> I'm coming for you slowly. <laughs> Okay, we'll call it good. I'm gonna stop playing. Thank you for watching.